Yeah, so I just recorded this and now I have to re encode it. Re re record it because I closed Cam Studio too quick. Anyways. So uh this is a video to get your uh LG Dare phone to sync with Microsoft Outlook uh calendar. And or yeah, just, just Microsoft Outlook calendar. So uh the first thing we're gonna do is Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get online, and I'll include this link in the sidebar, but uh, you can Google BitPim. It's a third-party... What did I spell? Ah, BigPim. It's third-party uh, software uh, that we're going to be using. It's uh, BitPim.org. But uh, you can go to Download, and you can download it for OS X or Linux or Windows, obviously. So you're just going to go here. It will download. Uh, save it. And it's it's only an 11 meg file, so it shouldn't take that long. And then you're going to go to the file. And then you're going to run it. If you're using Wind or XP, this will be a hell of a lot faster because you don't have a security message and whatnot that will pop up here momentarily. There we go. I downloaded a program from the internet. Oh no. Uh, next, accept, next, next, next. I'm not going to install it because it's already installed. But, uh,. Standard installation instructions there. Uh, so, I'm going to exit out of that. Uh, okay, so this is Windows 7, by the way. It's a little buggy when it comes to some stuff. Anyways, um, and then what you're going to do is, once you've installed it, it'll be under a folder called, conveniently enough, BitPim. Open BitPim, open this. I will load. It's very official and technologically looking. Anyways, um, as you can see I already have a calendar in here, but to get the calendar in there, you would go to import, import calendar wizard, uh, Outlook, if this is, if Outlook's one you're using, if not, you have Google calendars, RICAL, whichever you want to use. Uh, you go to browse, and when you hit browse, it's going to open up Outlook as a scene down here. At which point you can pick which calendar you actually want it to pull from. So I'm going to go school, and right here is where the calendar is. If if you already have Outlook open, um, it can be a little confusing because it won't show you that anything's changed. It'll just leave this blank and give you a an hourglass. So just as like when it says, hey, look, I'm browsing, just click on Outlook, and you'll see the same browser window that I just showed you. Anyways, uh, go to Next. This will be all your calendar uh, dates and whatnot that are in Outlook. Hit Next. You can either replace all, add, merge. Uh, I'm going to replace all because I don't want to mess up my calendar. And you'll get this, which is the day and then what time all your events are and whatnot. And then what you're going to do is you have to set up your phone. So you go to Edit Settings, Phone Wizard, and then Verizon Wireless, LG, uh, the Dare, the Dare. Uh, you're going to set it up to COM3. Auto doesn't seem to want to work for some reason, so COM3 is what you want. Uh, next, you can either detect phone or you can just finish. Either way works. Uh, you're going to then hit OK, and then what you're going to do is, I already have mine set up to auto sync, but uh, what you'll do is when you plug in the phone, what is this giving me, when you plug in the phone, you will go to, this is get stuff from the phone, which you can get anything from your phone from this, or send stuff to the phone. So, I'm going to plug in my phone really quick. Okay, so you, 
you're going to set this, click this right here, which will uh, send data to phone. And then down here, if you'll notice, it send data to phone. Uh, you're going to click calendar, click OK. And if you notice down there, it sent all the information to the phone. The phone will restart. And while it's syncing, your phone will not have service but or signal, but it uh, it only takes, like you saw, like 10 seconds to do it. So your phone will restart, which you'll probably hear in a second when it interrupts me. Which restarted, and then you're good to go. And if you sent this to auto sync, every time your phone restarts, it's going to try to sync again, which is really annoying because then your phone restarts like every 10 seconds and it's just obnoxious but uh and that's all you really have to do if you have to change events you can change them in outlook and then this will auto uh you can set it up to auto re-import or it can just you can import it manually um that's about it i hope i helped you guys syncing your uh, lg dare to your microsoft outlook